This is a short video about Coordinate Master. Coordinate Master is an app for Android that will convert from virtually any coordinate system in the world to any other. It supports 1700 different coordinate systems, plus you can create your own custom uh, coordinate systems, so the possibilities are virtually unlimited. So the user interface has the source coordinate system at the top and the target coordinate system at the bottom. At the moment, I've got lat long WGS84 as the source and uh, an Australian projection MGA zone 56 as the target. So you enter latitude, longitude, press convert downwards, and that's the coordinates. Um, if you want to see it on a map, you can press this button here, and that will show you in Google Maps the location of the waypoint. So there it is. Let me go back to the app. Right, so there's a few other buttons up here. You can um, compute the geoid offset, which is this um, globe icon here. So the geoid offset for this location in Australia is um, 25 meters. Um, so this is useful if you want to subtract that value off uh, a GPS altitude reading um, because the, the Earth is not a perfect sphere, so the geoid gives you the correction factor so that you can actually um, see the right altitude on your GPS. You can copy that to the clipboard by pressing that button there, and then it's copied to the clipboard, you can paste it into another app. So in addition, um, up here we've got, if you want to copy the coordinates, there's a button here, copy, just copies the latitude and longitude. If you want to copy the individual components, just click on the buttons next to them. Copies 151 degrees. Also, you can edit the latitude and longitude in degrees, minutes, seconds format or degrees, minutes format. So the other button up the top here is the um, magnetic field calculator. So for this location, you can compute the current um, magnetic field. So the declination, which is the difference between true north and magnetic north, um, calculated for this location is 12 degrees. Um, again, you can show that in degrees, minutes, seconds, if you prefer, or degrees, minutes. Now, the other values here, uh, inclination. Uh, so that's the vertical component of the magnetic field coming up out of the Earth or down into the Earth. And the final value there is the intensity in nanoteslas. You can, um, you can copy the magnetic declination of the clipboard by pressing this button. So that just copies the 12 degrees. You can copy all the parameters by pressing that button. And, and there's the help button here. Now, also in this app, you can get the current location from your GPS, which may be useful if you just want to um, convert <clears throat> your current location into some other map coordinates. So you click this button here, and then the GPS location is coming. I've actually, um, <clears throat> up the top there you can see I've got a, a fake GPS location. This is actually a location in London that I'm um, getting from the GPS. So we can show that on the map. There we go. <clears throat> Now, obviously the Australian um, coordinate system is not suitable here, so we can choose a British coordinate system. Let's choose the British National Grid. Press OK. So there we go. The British National Grid coordinates for that location are shown here. OK, now down the bottom here, we've got a few more options. Um, we've got preferences. The preferences will change the number of decimal places shown for the easting, northing and latitude longitude. So we could increase that to two, for example, and you can show height fields as well. So then the height is computed um, as well and shown. So you can see I've got two decimal places there for the um, easting northing now, still six for the um, latitude and longitude. I'll just change that back. Okay, now down the bottom here, there's also this um, zone tool. If you bring that up, this is for UTM coordinate systems. Um, 
So say I enter a UTM zone of 56. That will show me that the central um, longitude for that um, zone is 153 degrees. Okay, but say I wanted to go the other way. Say I had a longitude of 110 degrees and I wanted to find out what zone that was in. Then I just convert forward into zone 49. So that's what that zone tool does. Um, there's a help button here. It brings up just basic help on um, the coordinate master. If you want more help, um, you can go to the web using that more help button and it just gives you a little bit more information about what everything means. And down here, there's the about box, which just shows you which version of the app you're running and shows you which libraries I'm, I'm using to create the app. And this button here, the little door button, is just to exit the app if you want to use that to shut down the GPS correctly. Um, now, in the middle there, there's a edit button. So what you can do is if you've, if you've got a coordinate system, um, for example, say I've got say I've got just a okay so say I've got a coordinate system like this and I can view its details so when you go view details this is uh, quite a um, what shall we say complicated um, set of parameters that define that that um, projection so we've got the name of the projection, we've got the ellipsoid parameters, the um, conversion parameters to WS84 datum. Um, in this case, there's all zeros because this is the WS84 datum. And we've got the command string, which is actually sent to the proj4 library to actually um, do the transformation of the coordinates. And down the bottom here, we've got an extra set of parameters called the affine parameters. They're normally 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, which means don't change the coordinates at all. Um, there's the formulas down the bottom here that, that actually is a transform. Now, if you've got a local grid, you might want to use those. Otherwise, you just want to leave those at that set of those values. So what you can do, if you want to create a new coordinate system, you can actually pr press copy. And this will copy all those parameters um, to the clipboard. And then we can go back out of here. And we can go edit user projections. And if you've got a text editor installed, um, it will bring up this file, which is stored in your uh, on your SD card or the emulated location of SD card in a in a folder called um, Coordinate Master. Now, what you can do is you can so you do need a text editor installed to do this. So anyway, what you can do is you can paste the um, string that I've just copied. I'm having a bit of trouble with my text editor here. I'm, Maybe it's not the text editor I'm used to, but anyway, you should be able just to paste the, um, yeah, anyway, it's just viewing the text editor. You need a text editor. Um, so what you should be able to do is paste the coordinate system into the end here, edit the parameters, and then go back out and actually have to exit and restart the app to, so it reloads it. Um, that's probably a bug I'll fix in the future, but then when you go into choose a coordinate system right down the bottom there's user coordinate systems and this just lets oops this just lets you choose from the coordinate systems that you've entered in that text file okay so you choose one of those and there you go so that's about all there is to this app and um, as I said it's it's quite comprehensive there's three things in one really you can convert coordinates you can compute the geo offset and you can compute the magnetic field um, magnetic field is actually, I forgot to mention before, you can actually set the date as well. So you can you can enter any date back to about, uh, I think it's 1900, and you can compute the historic magnetic field there as well. So that's uh, Coordinate Master. Thanks for watching.